After two years of hard graft, the results are in here at St Bonaventure's in Newham and at thousands of other schools across the capital. It's just a beautiful day, I'm so happy. Did you get what you wanted? Yeah, I got, I got it. <laughs> got a D star, D star, D right here. Fantastic. Yeah, so yeah, what's yeah. the plans? I'm going to go to Aston, um, study business, computing and IT oh. and yeah. Plenty of smiles, among them Humera, who, after some sleepless nights and tough times, pulled it out of the bag. I never felt that much anxiety in my life. I was fully thinking I would get like C's or something. So then when I saw my results, I was like, what? Is it my paper? Like I had to double check. But yeah, it's good, I guess, yeah. Well, these A-level results, many of them still in the envelopes being collected as we speak, are the first qualifications these students are getting based on exams. That's because they didn't sit exams for their GCSEs due to the pandemic. And for some, that was a big concern. I was really worried because I didn't know what to expect because I wasn't even like used to the whole time frame side of it. I wasn't used to like how it feels to be in an exam hall. We felt like we weren't prepared enough, you know, because we didn't do our GCSEs properly. So yeah, um, it was also scary because um, we didn't have like all the help that last year got. Tim Campbell from The Apprentice attended St Bonaventures before he was excluded. Now as Chair of Governors, he says it's not just those with top grades who can do well in life. There's some unfortunate cases of young people who don't get the results that they want. But the important thing to think about is that the actual grades don't define who you are. The decisions you make today are going to define you. And that's why we're here amongst the teaching staff at the school to really talk to the young people about making the right decisions now, regardless of what the results are. <laughs> For now, though, the focus is simply to enjoy the summer ahead of whatever the next chapter holds for all these students. Thomas McGill, BBC London.